Hey, genuine well-wishers and constructive critics to whom I am thankful for letting me know my negatives. At the outset, I wish you and a love a safe journey in 2022 and subsequent years in spite of the three waves of Corona with the fourth wave and subsequent waves in pipeline in progress. All variants of concern in full swing in India, all with high mortality rates besides other natural calamities all over the globe. It is social activist come good-hearted preacher Professor S. Suresh back with a sheer ecstasy rebound again and in fact for my 190th 190 video on annual of publication on YouTube today, 28th October 2022, Friday. Uh, I have selected another interesting topic. The topic for today is do good to society. I assure you my videos are short and sweet worth every femtosecond of your precious time. We are mortal, but our videos are immortal. So we live through our videos forever. So I am confident that I live forever having published 190, 190 videos so far including this one, for the benefit of society, that to absolutely fail. That is a social work I am doing, you can say. Doing something good to the society from my side, one of the things really. Social responsibility is an ethical framework in which an individual is obligated to work and cooperate with other individuals and organizations for the benefit of the community that will inherit the world that individual leaves behind is the prime duty of all human beings. A balance between the economy and the ecosystem one lives within pertains not only to business organizations but also to everyone whose actions impact the environment ecology. One can be socially responsible passively by avoiding engaging in socially harmful acts or actively by performing activities that advance the social goods. Social responsibility must be intergenerational since the actions of the own generation have consequences on those following. So one can be neutral also, at least do not do anything harmful to the society, the environment, uh, all sentient species and uh, ecology, everything. Social issue is a problem that affects many people within a society. It's a group of common problems in present day society and ones that many people strive to solve are the source of conflicting opinions on the grounds of what is perceived as morally correct or incorrect personal life or interpersonal social life decisions. Refers to topics of national political interest over which the public is deeply divided and which are the subject of intense partisan advocacy, debate and voting. Involve values cherished by widespread society. A balance issue is a social problem that people uniformly interpret the same way. Uh, that I can't think of any balance issue. There will be subtle variations in the way people perceive the benefits and all that. Okay. It depends on the individual the society that they live in, the na nation, religion, whatever. So many variations are there. Variables. Types of social issues. Social stratification, economic issues, social disorganization, public health, age discrimination, social inequality, education and public schools, work and occupations, environmental racism, abortion debate, lack of literacy and numeracy, corruption, child abuse, religious intolerance, immigration, extremism, extremism includes terrorism also really, discrimination, genocide, sexual abuse, harassment, sexual orientation, child labor, child marriage, prostitution, freedom of speech and expression, poverty, prejudice, hate crimes, obesity, bullying, hunger, substance abuse, exploitation, boundary labor system, infertility, gender equality, inequality. There are so many things really. It's a big list, I have short listed actually. Only the important things are listed out, main things. Community projects is a term applied to any community based project. Projects can cover almost anything, including the most obvious section of concern to any community, the welfare element. Another important sector of importance to the community would be charity. Most economic community projects are designed at creating some sort of economic auto autonomy. A community could be either entire human race or parts of it anywhere on the planet. Social work, any of various services designed to aid the poor and aged and, and to increase the welfare of children, generally all work of benefit to society in some way or other, everybody should contribute their might. Don't think our contribution doesn't matter. Too many drops only make the ocean, you know. Always remember that. Social welfare. Provision of economic assistance to persons in need 
either by government, organizations or individuals. Especially downtrodden should benefit and lead happy lives. Government should spend the public money wisely by spending more on education, health care, housing, infrastructure, etc. of social importance and curb the budget for so-called unwanted defense, which is destruction in dis disguise. Be constructive and not destructive. Business organizations should also be ethical and be focused on service to the society rather than looting in all possible ways. Nobody can take any of the material possession when the soul departs a body. That is what we call as death, you know that. So spend a portion of the money earned for development of society. If everybody contributes, this world would be like heaven on hell. Debates, discussion on open-ended topics like this can go on forever. Anyway, let me pull the plug here. We'll meet again real soon with another interesting topic. Some of the statements, views expressed are solely mine based on limited knowledge gained over six decades of versatile experience. Always watch these videos with closed caption subtitles for absolute 100% comprehension as for my sincere recommendation zillion times later. I have made it as my policy to complete the presentation within 20 minutes maximum. This today must have taken about 9 minutes. This time limit is self-imposed to retain the viewer's attention as a norm. Stay at home as much as possible to maintain social distancing attributed to pandemic novel COVID-19 and probing prolong your lifespan. Lead a healthy life. God, also known as the supreme power, is the one and only one who can put a stop to natural or unnatural events like bio war, cyber war, like pandemics and epidemics, which ultimately pays away for apocalypse and extinction of all sentient species on earth for no fault of theirs. Rest in peace and harmony.